Hey, Kara. Do you have some time right now? There's something that I want you to hear. Mia's finally going to get married. What? She's getting married? I'm so happy for her. Yeah, it's great news, right? She told me that her boyfriend proposed to her and gave her a ring a few days ago. They're going to start planning their wedding sometime this month as well. I'm so excited. Well, I'm glad that she seems to be doing well then. Also, there's some more news. It gets even better. Both she and her boyfriend want to move in with us once they get married. Wait, what did you just say? They're moving in with us. Well, I heard that his workplace is pretty close to our house, and living here would make his commute much easier. Also, if we all live together, we can save some money on rent as well. I think it's a good deal for everyone that is involved. They told me that they wanted to save up some money so that they can buy their own house once they have a baby. Oh, I haven't stopped smiling ever since I heard about this. There's nothing that can make me happier than them moving in with us. Well, I guess it's going to be more lively in the house once they move in. Where are they going to live, though? There's no more free rooms in our house, is there? Have you figured out what you're going to do about it already? Yeah, that's completely fine. I've got it all figured out. I just need you to move out the house and all the problems are solved. Hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you've been here a pretty long time now and you're an adult already. You don't seem to have any plans of moving out and you're very arrogantly using up two entire rooms right now. It's about time you moved out the house. This is the perfect timing. If you leave, then everything will go very smoothly. I can give them both their own rooms when they move in. Wait, please, can we just make things clear? Are you really trying to kick me out the house? You're annoyed that I'm using up two rooms? You do know that the only reason I'm using both the rooms is for work. What are you talking about? You keep telling me that you're working from home, but from my point of view, it just seems like you're too lazy to go outside. You're getting pretty old now, and you really should be going out more and trying to find someone to get married to. You really are the ugly duckling of this family. I'm really embarrassed to talk about you. What did you just call me? I called you the ugly duckling. You're a failure that never leaves the house. You're pretty much a parasite. On the other hand, your younger sister is so cute and outgoing. I wish that you would be more like her. I think that's a little mean. I'm your daughter, you know. I've been working hard and earning money so that I can put some of it towards the family's living expenses. I really don't think that I deserve having those insults said to me. It's normal to pay living expenses when living with your family as an adult. I still stand by everything that I just told you. Anyway, I need you to move out the house like I told you earlier. They're moving in at the start of next month, so I want you out of the house with all your belongings by the end of this month. Hey sis, it's been a while. Did you hear that I'm getting married? I think mom told you about it already, right? Well, we decided that we want to move into the house this week instead of next month. Make sure that you pack all your belongings and are gone before we arrive. You've got to be kidding me, right? You want me to move out by the end of this week? There's no way that I'll be able to get ready in time. You should have told me about it in advance. I'm sure it'll be fine. All you have to do is gather up your belongings. I really think that you should leave the house as soon as possible. You really need to socialize considering you've been stuck in that room ever since graduating high school. Move out and get your own place. It'll definitely be good for you. Maybe you can even find a guy to date and invite him over. <laughs> Although you'll probably have to work on your appearance. Are you making fun of me? Of course I am. It must be so embarrassing for you that your younger sister is getting married before you. You don't even have a boyfriend right now. I'm so much further ahead of you in life right now. Anyway, you can use this as an opportunity to try to change your life for the better. It's definitely going to be better than being stuck in your room all day. Just be quiet. Why should I listen to anything you have to say? Oh, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings by telling you the truth. You're definitely not going to meet anyone at this rate. You stay inside all day and you can't even listen to the kind advice I gave you. You're just totally hopeless. 
Excuse me? Well, no guy is ever going to choose a woman like you. There are so many other better women in the world. I'm sorry that I even tried to help you out. I forgot how hopeless you were and hurt your feelings instead. Well, try your best. <laughs> hey, you better shut your mouth right now. You're taking this way too far. How could you say such a thing to me? I'm your older sister. I just can't help it, you know. It's all the truth, so I'm not doing anything bad. You didn't even go to university, and you still live at home after all these years. You don't have a boyfriend or any friends. You really are a total mess. Do you know whose fault it is that I became like this? What are you talking about now? This all happened because you were mom's favorite child. She let you go to private school from middle school all the way to university and paid for all the tuition costs. On the other hand, she didn't even let me go to university because she had no money left to spend on me. The only option that I had was to start working straight out of high school. Yeah, I really am her favorite child, aren't I? Although I do totally get why she chooses me. I can't believe that she spent all of the money in Dad's will on my tuition. That was so funny. It was not funny at all. She should have thought much more carefully about how to spend that money. Ever since our dad died from that illness, she's been treating me even worse than before. Ever since you were born, I had to deal with getting the short end of the stick every single time. I've had enough of both you and her already. What's the matter all of a sudden? Why are you so mad now? Isn't it obvious why I'm getting angry? I've been made fun of all my life by you both. My life so far has been so miserable because of how she treated us so differently. I thought that I would try to at least do what I can, and that's why I got a job that I could do working remotely from home. You guys both made fun of me for my job as well. Now I'm being told to move out the house by the end of this week with no warning in advance? I've had enough. Anyone put in this situation is going to be angry. Wait, hold on a minute. I just can't stop laughing because this is too funny. You're actually having a mental breakdown because you're so angry. It's also kind of pathetic, too. It's not something that you should get this angry about. Maybe you should leave the house and try relieving some stress. No one's going to want to be friends with you if you're always this angry. It's so frustrating talking to you. I don't know why you don't take advice from me. It's pretty obvious that I am the smarter one out of us two. You only graduated from high school, whereas I graduated from a prestigious private university. I'm also so much cuter and more attractive than you. These are just facts. It is how it is. You should stop getting so angry and listen to what I say to you. You need to accept the reality. I can't believe that you don't understand why I'm getting angry. It just feels like talking to a brick wall. In fact, I'd rather be talking to a brick wall than talking to you right now. I get that you're really looking down on me now. There's no point trying to tell you how I feel. I'm just better than you in every aspect of life. <laughs> I do kind of feel sorry that you were born a loser. Just stop making this so difficult and get out of the house. You pathetic loser. You're an embarrassment to the family. Fine. I'll do exactly as you say. I've had enough now. Okay, great! Goodbye, sis! Do you have a bit of time right now? There's something that I want to ask you about the house. About the house? What is it? When you were living here, were you paying for the living expenses? Mom keeps asking me when I would be paying for the living expenses, and it's getting kind of annoying. Yeah, of course I was paying for the living expenses when I lived there. I think she would have kicked me out if I didn't pay. Ah, really? I didn't know about that. I thought that you were just playing games in your room all day. I assumed that you didn't help out with the living expenses at all. You really think I'm like that? I was working a full-time job, so I always paid my share every single month. I guess I should probably be paying for the living expenses as well then. I'll probably pay her the same amount that you paid her every month. Were you really planning on moving in without paying any living fees? Of course! I mean, the main reason that we're moving in is because we want to save up some money. I thought that she would be paying for all the living costs after I move in. 
I am her favorite child, after all. You really are a greedy person, aren't you? Well, it's not a big deal. I'll put in a little bit more than what you were paying. I guess if I paid $400 a month, that would be good enough. Wait, what? That's all that you're gonna pay? Did you just say that's all to me? I bet your pathetic online job barely pays minimum wage. It must have been pretty rough having to pay $250 every single month for your living expenses. Even my husband says that paying around $400 would be about right. I'm sure that should be enough money for all of us to live comfortably. She can pay for the rest if it's needed. I'm sure that she's going to be thankful that I'm giving her more money than you. That's not even close to what I was paying her. I gave her $1,700 every single month. What did you just say? $1,700 a month? You're joking, right? Not at all. I think that she's actually going to be shocked when she realizes that she's only going to get $400. She's going to have a fit and say that it's not possible to live on such a low budget. Wait, hold on a second. Are you really serious about everything you said? You were paying her $1,700 a month as living expenses? That's absolutely insane! Please tell me that it was all a joke! Why would I make a joke like that to you? It's all the truth. You can ask her directly if you don't believe what I'm telling you. No way! The exact amount of money I was paying her every month was $1,700 for both my living expenses and as rent. I also paid all the money when any part of the house needs fixing. I'd expect to have to pay something like $1,500 every half a year or so. That house is getting pretty old now, and lots of things stop working. I paid $1,400 the other day to have some plumbing issues fixed. Whoa! That's so much money! You were really paying that on top of the rents and living expenses? Oh, and also you're going to be paying for the gas and repair fees for the car. That also adds up over time. What? I have to pay for the car as well? Then there's her birthday. She gets really furious if you don't give her a few hundred dollars in cash. She wants to choose her own present, so she demands that she gets cash. Well, I'm sure that someone as amazing as you can figure something out. Anyway, try to do your best not to make her angry, okay? It's not something that you want to have to deal with. Wait, hold on a minute. Please, let me process this for a minute. What's the matter? How can you be so calm about this? Everything that you just told me is ridiculous. All I wanted to do was come back home and live here for free. The main reason that we decided to move back was to save money. Yeah, that's what I heard. I already got told why you were coming back. Well, I'm definitely not going to be paying $1,700 just to live here. How am I meant to save any money if I pay that much for just living expenses? Are you really telling me that you were paying this much every single month? How did you even manage to do that? Yeah, I really was paying her that much every month. If I didn't pay it, she would get really angry, so I didn't really have a choice. She'd even come to my room to interrupt my work if I didn't pay. I thought it would just be a lot easier and simpler if I just listened to her requests. This can't be true. It's not going how I planned for it to go at all. Why is a person like you able to pay so much money? $1,700 a month isn't an amount that we're able to pay comfortably at all. Yet you're saying that you managed to pay that amount all by yourself? Oh, really? You guys aren't able to pay that much. It's not that much money, is it? Not that much money? Are you being serious? $1,700 is pretty much how much I'm able to make in an entire month. My entire paycheck would have to go towards just living expenses. How am I meant to save money while doing that? Wait, that's how much you're making right now? Well, it's because we both decided to do jobs that we actually like doing and has flexible holidays. That's why the salary might be a little low as of now. We both wanted to prioritize our private life and free time over money. Well, that's great. I'm glad that both of you managed to get the jobs that you wanted. Money isn't everything, after all. Still, why were you able to comfortably pay so much money every single month? That doesn't make any sense to me. You just stay inside your room all day. What do you even do in the room to make so much money? Why is it so hard for you to understand? My job pays around $4,000 a month, so that's why I was paying around $1,700 a month. It was less than half of what I earn, and I thought it was worth paying it just so that she would leave me alone. Wait, did you really just say $4,000? You're making that much money every single month? Yeah, I am. Why are you so surprised? How? 
what do you do to make that much? I really don't understand how you're able to make so much more money than me. You didn't even get to go to university. There's no way you should be making that much money. Well, I'm actually more surprised that you only make $1,700 a month even though you went to university. You always made fun of me, so I assumed that you had a really well-paid job. I thought that you would at least be making the same amount as I do. Of course I'm not making that much. I just started working recently. Don't underestimate how bad the job market is right now. Oh yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess I'm lucky that I was able to find a great job a little while ago. Maybe it was good that I didn't go to university. I'm scheduled to get a pay raise soon as well. What? You're getting a raise on top of what you make already? Yeah, I'm working as a software engineer and I do most of my work on my laptop at home. What? You're an engineer? Isn't that meant to be really difficult to learn about? I really don't understand what's going on. How is someone like you able to learn the skills required for that kind of job? You're just a high school graduate that didn't even get a degree at university. There's definitely something that you're not telling me. Well, I don't really care about what you think and I can't be bothered to keep explaining to you. How about you stop talking to me and go talk to mom about the living expenses so that you don't make her angry? Maybe you guys can figure out a different price for the living expenses. If you don't have a discussion with her, she's just going to assume that you guys will continue paying her $1,700 a month. That's just not possible. It's way over our budget. Well, time to talk to her then. Good luck and have fun living with her. I'll be starting my new life in my own place starting tomorrow. Now that it's happening, I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. Hey, Kara, you have to hear this. Guess what Mia did today? I'm still so shocked about it. She told me that she couldn't live with me anymore and stormed out the house. Isn't that such a rude thing to do? What, already? I thought that you guys just started living together. She told me that the living expenses were just way too expensive. She said she'd rather find her own place if she has to pay that much money. Well, that's kind of unfortunate. I went through all that effort of leaving the house for no reason. How is she not able to pay me the living expenses? It's only $1,700 a month. She's just so selfish. I went through so much effort getting her into a prestigious university and paid all of her tuition for her. Now she's not able to return the favor? I'm just so disappointed in her. Well, she told me that she chose a low-paying job so that she could work a job that she liked and that she could have flexible holidays. I think it's really great that she's prioritizing her private life over her work life. She said her boyfriend was doing the same thing. What are you talking about? Money is so much more important. I thought that the two of them would be earning much more money than you do. I guess I thought wrong. Well, anyway, I have some good news for you. You can come back home right away and start living with me again. Wait, did you really just say that? Yeah, come back tomorrow if you can. There's no way someone like you would be able to live by yourself anyway. I'll forgive you and let you come home right away. Actually, I don't think that I really want to go back home. I just finished buying furniture for my room and I actually enjoy designing my room to my preferences. I'm going to keep living here by myself, but thanks for the offer. What? You can't do that! Yeah, I can actually. I hope you enjoy living by yourself as well. You can use the rooms that I was using as you like. Wait, hold on a minute. Who's going to pay me for the living costs if you don't come home? I don't know what you expect me to say. Well, you were the one that always gave me money for the living expenses, right? How am I meant to keep living here if you don't give me that money? How about you start using some of your savings? I knew that I was giving you way more than what was needed for covering living costs. You were probably pocketing the rest of the money, right? You must also have some savings from back when you used to work, right? Of course I don't have any savings. Why would I do such a boring thing? I used up absolutely all of the money that was given to me every month. Money is only fun when you spend it. You used up all of it? What were you spending so much money on? Things I wanted. Anyway, you better come home right now so that I can continue living here. If you don't want to come home, then would you at least transfer my living expenses to my bank account at the start of every month? Make sure you transfer the same amount as when you lived here. It's exactly $1,700 a month, okay? Make sure you don't make any mistakes. I don't really want to do that. What? How could you say such a thing? 
Well, I was only paying you that money for my portion of the living expenses and rent. I'm no longer living there now, so there's really no need for me to pay you that money anymore. What? Why are you being so difficult about this? You know, a lot of kids send money to their parents once they start to get old. You should do the same and send me some money. I was the one who raised you after all. You should be happy that you're able to help me after I've done so much for you. Well, then you should probably be asking Mia for the money then. She was your favorite child, right? You barely did anything for me at all. I don't think that I have any responsibility to help you out. What did you just say? Are you really planning to just abandon me when I need your help? If anything, you were the one that abandoned me first, right? You suddenly decided to kick me out of the house out of nowhere, even though you had been living off the money that I was giving you. Well, I only did that because Mia kept telling me that she wanted both of your rooms. There wasn't much I could do about it. Well, then go and ask Mia for help. You've already abandoned me. Just ask her for a few hundred dollars a month and you can probably live off that. You cared for her so much, right? You paid all of her tuition to go to that prestigious university. If anything, she should be the one to pay you back. Well, there's kind of a problem. She blocked my contact detail, so I can't get in touch with her. Even if I wanted to ask her for help, I have no way of talking to her. If it was possible, I'd be asking her for help right now. Not you. Wait, you got blocked by her? That's kind of funny. Yeah, she blocked me. Even if I try to text her or call her, I get no replies. I really think that she must have blocked me. Anyway, the only person that I can rely on now is you. You better not abandon me and block me like she did. If you did that, I would never forgive you for it. Maybe she hasn't blocked you. She probably just hasn't had time to check her phone. Be quiet when I'm talking. You should be thankful that I raised you and that you live in my house for so long. A loser like you wouldn't even be in this situation if it weren't for me. You definitely wouldn't have that job right now if I didn't let you graduate high school. Be grateful that I gave birth to you and that I raised you. In fact, you can start thanking me by continuing to pay for my living expenses every month. $1,700 into my bank account at the start of every month, okay? The only reason that I'm currently working this job is thanks to myself. You gave birth to me and then just left me to grow up by myself. Stop suddenly pretending that you cared for me and loved me when you really didn't. You're just a greedy old pig. What did you just call me? Did you really think that you're the reason that I managed to get to where I am? After graduating high school, I worked multiple jobs so that I could pay for my living expenses and also pay for online classes. I stayed up till late every night even after working all day so that I could study and learn software engineering. That's how I got to where I am right now. Online classes? What are you talking about? Since when were you taking those classes? How come I knew absolutely nothing about that? I was taking the classes the entire time you and Mia made fun of me for staying in my room all day. I had no other choice because I wasn't able to go to university like her. I'm thankful that you gave birth to me and that I'm healthy, but that's all that I'm thankful for. You barely cared for me when I was growing up. I'm sure that I paid you back more than enough over the past few years. I was paying $1,700 a month for living expenses. Surely that added up to a pretty huge sum of money. Anyway, I have no money left that I am willing to give to you, so you're going to have to figure out another way to get some money. Wait, don't be like that. I'm not sure who else I can ask. Let's both calm down and talk this out so that we can figure out a way in which we both can be happy. I know that you're just feeling a little anxious because you're living all by yourself now. Look, it's going to be so much better for you if you just come back. Actually, I'm feeling so much better living by myself. The only reason I started living with you for so long was because you kept telling me that the elder child should stay and live at home. I actually didn't enjoy living with you at all. Now that you kicked me out, I really have no reason to return. I cannot believe that you are talking to me in this tone. If Mia blocked you, then it's fine for me to do the same, right? I'm really tired of having to talk to you. I don't care what happens to you from now on. I'm going to be strong and live by myself. I don't need family like you in my life. Wait, hold on. You can't do that. Please don't abandon me as well. I have no one left that I can depend on. That's not a me problem. That's a you problem. Goodbye. After a little while, I decided to move to Canada, as that was where the company I work for was located. 
I blocked my mom's contact details, so I'm pretty sure that she'll never be able to find me again. Well, even if they did manage to find out where I was, I really doubt that they would be able to come here. After a few weeks went by, she managed to find out where Mia was living and decided to visit them. She begged for forgiveness and begged for Mia to give her $400 every month for living expenses. They managed to forgive each other and ended up moving in together. I heard that $400 wasn't enough to pay for the living expenses for the three of them and that she decided to start working a part-time job. Nowadays, she is very strict with her budgeting and tries to save money wherever possible. Mia and her husband have started to get tired of living with her and have secretly started to plan a way to move out of the house as soon as possible.